Very often we think of our photos as being associated with the location we were when we took the photo. That makes perfect sense. And so what better way to view your images or even to locate your images than by using a map? With Lightroom 4, we can now do exactly that using the map module. I'll switch to the map module. I've already selected a group of images captured during a road trip in Europe. And most of these images, because I was on a very casual trip, were captured with my iPhone. And my iPhone is able to automatically add GPS information to the images. If you're using a camera that similarly automatically adds GPS information into your photos, then you'll be able to view those photos on a map. You could also use a GPS device to record a track and then associate that track with your photos so that the images can be displayed on a map, or you can also put images onto the map directly in order to identify their location. You can see that I'm viewing Europe here, and I have some indications of images that are found on the map. The key shows me that unselected photos are shown with an orange box, selected photos with a yellow box, and then groups of photos or clusters of photos are indicated with a number in that box. And if I search for images, we'll see a search result with a yellow box and a black circle inside of it. I'll go ahead and close the key so that I can better see the map, and I can zoom in. I'll pan around the map and then slide the zoom over to the right to zoom in and view some of these images within the context of the map. Let's take a look, for example, in Ljubljana, Slovenia. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit and then pan across over to Ljubljana. And then I can click on the marker to see the images that were captured in that location. I can scroll through the images and notice that those images are also selected on the film strip. If I zoom in a little bit closer, I can even see more specifically where those images were captured within Ljubljana. I'll go ahead and zoom very close in on the map, and then we'll start to see those images spreading out with an indication of where exactly they were captured within Ljubljana. If I'd like to switch to a different map style, I can do that on the toolbar. I currently have the hybrid option displayed, which shows me satellite photos along with an overlay of roads, but I can choose to see only the roads, I can choose to see the satellite view, or I can choose to view only the terrain. Generally speaking, I like working in the hybrid view because it gives me a better sense of what is around the particular area where the images were captured. In addition to using the map directly, I can also use the images to help me identify photos on the map. For example, I'll double click on this image here, and I see that that photograph was taken in Verona in Italy. And zooming in a little bit closer, I can see that there were several images captured in Verona, and I can view them all individually. So the currently selected photo was taken over here by the river. I can also see a couple of other images that were captured nearby. On the film strip display, we can also see an icon that indicates that these images have positions identified on the map. But you'll also notice that not all of these images have that identifier, which means not all of these images have GPS coordinates included with them. We can see the GPS coordinates over on the right panel in the metadata section, and so if I click on this image, for example, you'll see that it is located in Nice, France, along the Mediterranean, and I have GPS coordinates associated with that image. However, the image to the right here does not have a location identified. There are no GPS coordinates. This is most likely because when I took the picture, the camera was not able to acquire a GPS signal in time. Fortunately, I don't need to have those GPS coordinates in order to be able to associate this image with a particular position on the map. This image features someone swimming in the Mediterranean just off the coast in Nice, and so I can drag that image out into the map and then drop it in the approximate position where the image was taken. Notice that by doing so, I now have GPS coordinates associated with that image, and that image can now be found on the map. As you can see, the map module in Lightroom 4 is relatively easy to work with, and it makes it easy and fun to locate images either using the map or choosing an existing image and seeing where on the map that image was photographed.